Oh, today I'm going to teach Sean Griffin how to play the trombone. First of all, I'm going to teach how to hold it. Okay, show you. You're going to make a gun with your thumb and your pointer finger. It's a, and the bar, the middle, middle bar here is going to go in between the two. Um, you're going to have your pointer finger up here because it's going to go where the mouthpiece is. And actually, I will put the mouthpiece on. Take it off. So you're on top of the mouthpiece. And your other three fingers are just kind of going to sneak right in, in the hole. Mm. Try that for me. So my pinky shouldn't go on there because it's no. going to have to move. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to have to move. So your pinky's going to have to go right inside. Right in there. Yep. Yeah. As long as it's going to be really relaxed. Yep, just like that. Um, important thing you get to know yep and damn no all right so I'll put it back up as if you're gonna as if you're gonna play um, important thing here is that for your right arm it's going to have to be up kind of like this and then yours is going to be flat like this because what you're going to want is you're going to want a motion where your elbow can just extend like this you can extend freely it, it'll be a lot more relaxed so instead of moving your arm just keep your arm relaxed I'll just put this right there you go you'll be a lot more relaxed um, some people are taught the pizza pie method, which goes this way, except for when you're trying to extend all the way, you're adding more tension here. So when you go um, this way, you get more, you're able to stretch more and you're able to be more relaxed. Gotcha. I'm trying to make sure. All right, posture. So pretty self explanatory. Make sure that you are sitting up straight, both feet are flat on the floor. Biggest tendency is to cross legs. Seen that, seen slouched over. The biggest thing with this is that you do not want to slouch over. Yeah, okay, that is a no no. That's very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, that is very, very bad. Make sure that your back is straight up at all times. And that your arm is good. Getting that time is fine. Perfect. Um, next, I'm going to show you slide positions. Um, uh, slide position number one is right where it is right now. Um, it's going to be open just like that. Subdition number two is maybe like about an inch. You'll see about an inch of the silver out. Maybe probably even a little less than that. But even, there you go, probably about right there. Um, then slide position three, your hand is bell, right? yep, just before the bell. Slide position four is going to be just after the bell. Slide position five is going to be another inch before that. After that. Or after that, pardon me. And slide position number six, a little bit after that. Um, fun fact, after... Um, hearing Dr. Lindahl talk about trombone. Um, some people think that the distance between the slide positions is the same the entire way through. It's not. Every time that you go from, uh, say, like one to two, two to three, three to four. You add like a the, little bit. Yeah, you, yeah, you add a little bit more for tuning and stuff. But like it, it's like frets on a guitar. Yep. Flip backwards. Mm -hmm. Very, very similar. Um, one thing I forgot to mention when um, putting down and picking up your trombone and holding it and everything like that is to make sure that at all times your slide, that your slide is locked. It is the trombone's biggest curse to d ever dare leave your slide on the because it falls and then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And then it dents and then it doesn't. Exactly. Like every sixth grade trombone player does that. Yep, and it is the worst thing to happen because it affects um, the playing a lot mm -hmm. more than anything else. Um, now we're going to make a buzz, so please lock your trombone slide for me. And please, uh, actually, I'll take the trombone for a second because we're just using the mouthpiece. Thank you. Oh, in order to make a proper buzz, you're going to want to make sure that your lips, um, about 50% of your top lip and 50% of your bottom lips, and make sure the mouthpiece is just right in the middle. Um, make sure that you're not too tense and also not too loose, and then just try and buzz in the mouthpiece. There you go. Try and tense up actually a little, just a little bit more. There you go. Um, I'm trying to make sure. Use use just two fingers. Hold with just two fingers, just so I can see. Full side. Good. Try and center the try and center the air through the middle of the mouthpiece. Good. Good. Get a lot better because because one thing that you don't want is you don't want any air coming out of the sides. So you want to be loose so that you know or so that you just you don't hurt yourself being tense enough so that you can get all the yeah, air this so it's not leaking. Yep. There you go. There you go, look at that spit coming out of there. Alright. Well let's try it with the horn. 
and see what comes out. Alright, and now, now you can unlock your slide. So stay in first position and let's just see what now comes out. The more sound you make, the less air you're actually getting in, the more constricting it is in your throat. So make sure that when you breathe, nice and quiet, nice and deep. Make sure that at all times the air is focused right on that side. There you go. There you go. Try again. There you go. Keep it there nice and center. Teachers will, you know, say, "All right, play your natural note," and then they'll work the first five notes off of that. So, yeah. like, your natural note was B flat. Mm -hmm. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you C, D, E flat, and F. And that works. So, so B flat is for position, obviously, right out here. C is going to be sixth position, so all the way out. Oh, 